DRC ready to access the independence in 1960. What did really happen after the death of Lumumba? The, the people that killed him got held accountable. The answer remains no. What's up guys, thank you so much for coming through to watch my video once again. I'm here to show you the Africa you don't see on TV, you guys. I have always told you Africa is beautiful. So many of you who have come to Africa really believe me and some of you still think, no, Africa is a jungle. So I'm gonna invite you today, stay tuned. And I'm about to blow your mind right here in this channel. So consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment down below i'll see you right away how did it happen what happened about the independence after 1960 one person have to ask what happened the country that was one of the best it was one of the best the cities in the drc such as leopoldville and and, and, and the Lubumbashi at the time, I forgot the name they used to call it, and Bukavu. These cities used to be the most beautiful, the most prestigious cities in Africa. So here is one question. What went down? How did it happen? So surprisingly, just June recently, this year, 2022, the King of Belgium came back and visited the DRC. Oh my God, guys. Okay. He actually came back, and guess what he came to do? He came to bring first the mask, a mask stolen from the DRC, which is, they say, is a symbol of showing a good partnership with the DRC and all that, so a lot of stories. The second thing that they did is to bring in the tooth of the late Lumumba. Oh my goodness, guys, a sad truth that they agree that they killed Lumumba but they don't want to be accountable. King Philippe and his wife, Queen Mathilde, are on a six-day visit. The monarch and Congolese president, Felix Tshisekedi, have spoken about cooperation and development. They haven't mentioned the role of King Philippe's great-grandfather's brother, Belgian King Leopold II. He turned Congo into his personal fiefdom in 1885. He made a fortune from rubber, which Congolese were forced to harvest from the forests. Their hands were cut off if they didn't collect enough for their rulers. Up to 10 million people died. So there is still one question to ask whether the Belgians are accountable for the death of the late hero of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Emery Patrice Lumumba. I wish I could ask this king of Belgians who visited re, who visited recently the Democratic Republic of Congo in this June 2022. He came back to the DRC and guess what? Warmly welcomed by everybody in the Congo, including the president. In fact, when he visited this city of Bukavu, he came with the prime minister all the way from Kinshasa to Bukavu. There's a lot of questions to ask. How did the people think or how do the people in Bukavu feel about the visit of the King of Belgians? These guys that colonized the entire country. When I say that uh, the King of Belgium was welcomed in the DRC by everybody, I meant in the political sphere, but at least not by locals. I was so lucky that I was in Bukavu during that time and I witnessed how the people felt. Locals were very anxious. Locals were angry because authorities, politicians, uh, refused people to go to work. And the work in Bukavu, it means self made work. People strive working day by day because government doesn't employ people and at least those who are employed are not being paid. So what you need to understand in Bukavu what happens is that uh, people really create jobs on their own. People manufacture from chairs to you know locally made everything and some just trading there is really hardship in bukavu 
lack of work, lack of employment, but then the government says nobody should go on the streets putting their goods because the king of Belgium is visiting. That was really sad and people got angry. I just don't know why people don't revolt in this kind of situations. Maybe just because people are peaceful or maybe should we say they are ignorant in fighting for their rights. But what I can tell you from my own experience is that people are tired fighting. It happens, yes. It happens when you fight and you get tired of fighting. Such happened to the people of Bukavu and maybe for the people in the east of Congo and maybe for the people in the Congo. People are just really tired. People have gone through worse. Worse, worse, worse. And the crazy part is that our government, the Congolese government, continue to, you know, sort of like begging these colonizers who never really wanted us to be happy. If we have conflict in the Congo today, it's because of them benefiting from our minerals. They buy them cheap at the black market. We, we don't have access to the market. Man, I get so angry when I speak about these things sometimes. Even the helicopter you hear above you guys. That will be a helicopter by the colonizers. Still looting this country. I just hope someday our locals, someday we're going to get a better leader that will understand the doabilities of things and how to satisfy the Congolese people and how to create about jobs how to employ the people people no longer believe that education is the key for success people start believing that you have to hustle you have to you know do crazy stuff physically people are just so tired and mentally people are exhausted so in this video i'm showing you when i was actually following up where the belgium king went i was hoping that maybe he will uh, take the chance and speak to the people then see the reaction but unfortunately he only went down to the panzi hospital the panzi hospital that uh, is owned by the uh, dr dennis mukwege the doctor who won the nobel peace prize he was given the nobel peace prize for his efforts in terms of uh, taking care of women because the congo have been at war in decades for decades the congo have been at war and there are consequences and there are a few people who were privileged to have the abilities to assist, such as uh, Dr. Mukwege, who is a Congolese man, who is uh, who was concerned in the first place and started fixing women uh, that were raped, women and children. There are a lot of uh, images, a lot of NGOs use those images to portray Congo, to show what the Congo is. But yes, uh, we acknowledge that uh, there are consequences of wars, that way that happened to our people and such things are the things that we need to work on to conscientize the congolese people to believe that no they have to stand up again and fight for their rights so in these visuals i'm just going to take you along and show you how what happened i'm just walking in the very busy streets you guys if you were here in the streets during the time let me just bring a clip about and showing you how this street gets busy but on this day the king of belgium visited bukavu authorities decided that nobody should go on the street to hustle that was so crazy anyways you guys enjoy the visuals and let me know uh, what do you think about uh, these visuals what do you think about the coming of the king of belgium the coming of the king of belgium is in the congo and yeah just let me know what you think let's uh, share the ideas and 
give ourselves maybe the light of how we should do this please just drop the comment down below also remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so leave a comment down below click the notification bell so you get notified every single time we post a new video and get to see it in the first place <laughs> so if you you're hearing that lady saying Jesus is white but he came for white people and they refused him so black people accepted him and therefore he's helping black people <laughs> those are people's houses you guys i'm gonna try and go down there to see uh, to where the Rosizi river is i mean the um, where it divides us the drc and rwanda so crazy masomoi that's a school right here. NCT Makungu. NCT Makungu. If you see those mountains, you guys, those that's Rwanda right there. That's Rwanda because the DRC is just ending right there. I'm gonna try and get you to the river Ruzizi. Let's just uh, go first. See if we can see Panzi and find the king of belgians who have came to visit the drc so yeah that's what's happening right here oh this down here is houses people's houses we are in the Ponzi area And uh, just in these trees, I think it's at the university called Ea. It's called the Evangelist Evangelic University in Africa. Ea University Evangelique in Africa. So these trees, that's where the university is. Look at this. <laughs> that's crazy, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that's exactly what's happening right here. That's the university there. Here we are. Yes, guys, this is the university. Here we are. It's a church university. Hey! Oh no! So far you! I'll turn you up. That's crazy, man. Why did you find 
almost saw an accident right here. Just an inch. Man, that's so crazy. Again, that's here, the university, you just climb up there. Yes, we are in Ponzi right now. So dusty. Campus Ruhigita. Oh, what I mean, because I want to tell you, I'm going to Ruhigita. So they named this after a missionary who Oh, was <laughs> left with the uh, oh. Ruhigita, the guy who took over the church after Belgians left missionaries who brought the gospel in the DRC they left it with uh, the guy called Ruhigita and it's the one that these campuses are named after. Cam Campus Ruhigita. Oh, the Mufuliru guy, the guy from Uvira. And the, this province, South Kivu, I guess this is where missionaries started there. Jenny to bringing the gospel into the DRC. I look like it's getting busier, and so is all of the police, and also the people. Oh no, I guess we're gonna have to shut down the camera. Because I'm not so sure the reaction of the police. So we are now on the way to the hospital. <laughs> Where the king of Belgians is. At the hospital, I don't know why they're removing this. Oh, I shall. Right, toy and in the ground. Right, toy and in. Oh, right, I get who's I see. So the guy is turning the, the poster because it was uh, facing when he was coming this side to the hospital. Now he's turning it because the king is about to depart coming from the hospital and going to the Kavumu airport so he's turning the poster facing where the king will come from people are really surprised here in Bukavu
Today there is no movement around. The government said everybody should stay at home because the king is in the town. I want to fuck it too. Just crazy. This, there are soldiers all over around and on the road. I don't know if you guys are seeing them. But there are soldiers everywhere. This is Pansy, you guys, and we are going to the hospital. Pansy Hospital, which is also Dr. Mukwege's hospital. Just gonna be amazing. Really see the doctor who the doctor who fix the women, the women who have been molested, the women who have been victims of war. Tender. Pardon. Hey. Merci. So yeah, right now I'm just in the streets of the hospital. Apparently, the Pansy Foundation is not here in the hospital. So I guess he went to see the NGO that is chaired by the doctor, Dr. Mukwege, and that's exactly where we're going. But otherwise, there's posters all over around, as you guys can see, and also this one, which is just going around with the wind. So right now we're going to the Pansy Foundation. This is Bukavu, you guys. I'm in the Pansy side. I've just left town, and here is Pansy. So I guess this is a field. And what's going on in the field, I don't know. I guess this is a soccer field. I was going to send my garden to the lab. This is supposed to be a soccer field, you guys, without any green grass. At a fertile land like this. Andrea Fondation Igual Eile ya 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 bless you Okay Okay Hapa hivi hapa kukosa nilipango Eh Unaye nyumba mrefu Hapa sawa namba hapa nafanya nini hapa Hapa ni nyumba kundi za 
Je ne sais pas si je suis en délégation. Je ne sais pas si je suis en délégation. Je ne sais pas si je suis en délégation. Je ne sais pas si je suis en délégation. It's called the Pansy Foundation, chaired by the doctor himself, the Nobel Peace Prize winner, Dr. Mukwege. Not sure we can get there because of the security, it looks like it's really tight. But you know what we do, guys, we just try. They have to stop us, but we're gonna try. We're gonna keep on going there. <laughs> Let's go to where the king of Belgium, or oh, Belgium, let me say it, the king of Belgium and his wife, I guess the queen, are visiting the Pansy Foundation, the foundation that treats women, the foundation that uh, treats vulnerable ladies those who have been victims of war here in the DRC as you can see you guys police all over everywhere they are watching they are just making sure everything is safe I guess and it's just so amazed it's amazing we're just gonna go through and Check it out. The police is chasing people aside. I guess the king is coming out. Yeah? Maybe we should be waiting around here just to make sure we don't put ourselves in trouble. I'm really scared of this police because I don't trust them. Eh? Turn the food. The police, soldiers, they are just all over taking care of the business. Oh, Apeti. What end up in bed? Eh? Okay. They ask us to get away from the road. So I guess we're gonna have to wait somewhere around here. I guess it's gonna come from somewhere around there. <laughs> this guy is saying the king has brought the tooth, Lumumba's tooth. That's so crazy. So I guess everybody knows all the atrocities that Belgians did right here in this country. People are really not happy. I don't know why they're not protesting. I guess the DRC, the Congolese people are not used to protesting. But I saw this soldier telling people to vacate the street. And I thought he was coming, but it looks like he's not. 
alikuwa anomba parto haiko mukweke nyo mupate mko alishika de kusuka sikanga picha sana shi asikwa ni picha sana kule ipata That's the car having the king, and all these are just delegations. No, I'm not sure if my leg move. I think this white car, it's where the king is. And all the delegation right here. <laughs> That's the Bel Belgium king right here in Bukavu in Panzi. With that's the governor. So that's the like delegation and a few like about twenty cars or something like that. Then the UN personnel. And then the soldiers. So dusty here. This one could be a secret service or something like that. With a delegation. This Pansy Foundation personnel as well. Normally they will be singing when they are welcoming an official. But it's like a mixture of emotions, people don't know what to think, but the government has said so, have welcomed the, the, the king, and therefore they're just abiding. I think it's abiding citizens. Whatever the government says is what they take. Law-abiding citizens. This is their office. The hospital, you guys. Amazing to think of the Panzi Hospital. Looks like uh, the king went in the hospital once again. Right now, he's coming from the foundation, the Panzi Foundation offices. Oh, they're gone. I think they're gone. They're gone, they're gone. Look at all those posters. And here is the hospital right here. Oh. That is the hospital right there. 
So yes, you guys, that's uh, the Panzi Hospital right here in Bukavu. I tried to ask if I can get in the hospital and they refused. The security guy says, the personnel I'm supposed to ask is no longer there, he's gone. And therefore, I cannot go in the hospital. Unfortunately, you guys, this is the second time I come here, try to visit and it's not just possible, I guess. I will just walk outside and go.